Hiya, it's Wemi again from Tosh Creations and it's another mini tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own sock cupcake using ta -da, baby socks, fluffy ones, cotton ones, how cute are those? And of course we're going to need a cupcake case. I hope you stick with me to the end. Let's get started. <coughs> so these are what we need to make, you know, one sock cupcake. Um, there's a pair of white socks, one pink socks and one fluffy sock. It's pink and white. Now, just to say that I wouldn't advise making just one cupcake unless you're going to use complete pairs of socks. Because even though, you know, these white ones are matched, you can see that these two are not matched. And you wouldn't want to give someone a gift that really, in effect, it's a bit useless for them. Because the baby wouldn't be able, they'd be able to wear this socks because they matched. But these two, they wouldn't have any use for them. So really, I would make two, two cupcakes because then you could use the matching pairs to these two. Or alternatively, use the same kind of socks. But then, to get the kind of look that we're going for, it's best to alternate the socks like we've done here. So just a little disclaimer there. So yeah, we have the socks. We have you know regular cupcake case, just the kind that you'd use to bake. I have a ribbon rose here. We're gonna use that to decorate our cupcake at the end. I have a little elastic band here, and then there's a glue dot. Hope you can see that clearly. But trust me, yeah, there's a piece of glue dot on there. So let's get started with making a sock cupcake. Now there are different techniques that I use when I'm making the sock cupcakes, but the easiest one that, you know, it's nothing complicated, no, you know, anyone can do it. And also because I don't want to damage the socks because it's, you know, my most frequently used technique because you don't want to like stretch the socks and the baby's not able to use it. So what I do is I lay, because I want the pink icing as it were, to be on the inside of the sock. And I'm going for like a bit of a swirl pattern. Is that right? Do I want the pink inside? No, I want the white outside because it's got, there's two layers of white. You'll see what I mean as I go on. So I'm going to put the white sock on top of this pink. I kind of stagger them. So turning it sideways, hope you can see what I mean. They're not evenly matched. There's a bit of a gap there the white one is slightly above the pink one you know I'm not evenly placing them I'm kind of staggering it and then I just start to roll I roll from the top of the socks not from the heel I keep a tight grip on it and I roll but I'm slightly slanting it slightly slanting the sock so that it can kind of show up a bit, you know, the, the inner rows can show up. Now this is showing up a bit too high for my liking. So then I just fiddle about with it. I just move up the pink to cover the white. Then I move up the white to cover the pink. So that there's a bit of a swirl going on, but it's, it's not too much. So, and I, like to hold it off the table just so I can see what's going on. Then I keep rolling until I get to the end. This inner white sock is showing up too much for my liking. So then I can push it down a bit. You can pull the pink one up a bit just to cover it. Hope you can see what I'm doing. That's like the inner row. Can you see the swirl we have? That's it's almost like pink and white frosting. Okay. Then I take another, the other white sock. I place. I, I make sure I keep a tight grip on this because if you let this go, it will all unravel. Then I place it on top of the white sock, but not fully covering it. Just slightly, you know, showing above the white sock. Let me turn that to face you. Can you see what I mean? Yes. And then I roll, slanting it slightly again. Let me see, just a little bit slanted. Because I still want to be able to see that pink at the bottom. Yeah. Then I take the fluffy sock. I always have the fluffy sock at the end. 
you can have it facing this way or if you wanted the pin to show you can turn it this way I'm going to turn it this way and I just roll this again with my first roll showing just slightly above it because we're going for the effect that domed effect that you get with cupcakes real cupcakes when you bake them where it's kind of a little bit domed when, you know when the cupcake rises and that's it really and I take my elastic band and I use that to hold it together I don't use glue or anything like that because I'm trying to minimize anything I'm trying to minimize damage to the sock trying to avoid anything that might cause damage then I place it into my cupcake case if you're worried that it's not secure it might come loose you can, sometimes I put a couple of glue dots in there because of course I post my cupcakes so I don't want it to move around in transit too much put a couple of um, glue dots in there sit that on top of it so that they stay seated you could leave it like that but as an extra step extra decoration I, I, I attach the ribbon rows using the piece of glue dot that I showed you earlier so I place the ribbon rose on top of the glue that I use that to pick it up and then voila one sock cupcake so I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make your very own sock cupcake the technique that I showed you today in today's mini tutorial is just one of the ways that I use in making sock or clothing cupcakes i run a one-to-one -one cupcake class where i teach you all you know more than one way where i teach you different techniques in making sock cupcakes how to make them realistic looking how you can present them in a bakery box how you decorate them i give you tips you ask me all your questions if you would like to know more i would love to hear from you you can leave a comment beneath this video or you can send me an email at hello at toshcreations.co.uk or you can visit my website at www.toshcreations.com i would love to hear from you and um i will see you in the next tutorial bye